Hi guys, I wanted to hop on here really quick and just do a quick, simple, natural eye look that you could do for daytime or nighttime, super simple with four shadows, okay? So the colors I'm going to use today are here, optimistic, antsy, nimble, and marvelous. They are gorgeous colors. You could use them in so many different combinations, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. What you need is a blending brush. You're gonna take this color nimble. This color is great if you have hooded eyes like I do. So you're gonna take this color, you're gonna look yourself in the mirror and where you want to have your crease, that's where you're gonna put this. So it's going to be a little higher than your crease if you have hooded eyes. All right, so you want this to kind of be like your peekaboo color. You do not wanna take it all the way up to your brow. You wanna leave a little space there, okay? But it's just, you're just using a very light hand. As you see, my dog kind of got to the brush. <laughs> but um, you do want to have a light hand. You're just going to go back and forth. Very simple. All right. So keep your eye open. Look at yourself. And that's where you're going to put the color. So you see when my eyes are open, it's just a little peekaboo. All right. So that's all you're going to do for that color. You're going to switch brushes. Brushes are so important to use the right brush. I'm going to take a crease brush and take a tiny bit. You just need a little. These colors are so pigmented. And you're just going to put this on the outer corner, the outer V. This is going to give us um, depth and dimension to our eyes, okay? So you're gonna go from the corner of your eye here and then into the crease, just a tiny bit. Don't bring it all the way in. It's gonna make your eye look a little smaller. You just want the darker color to be a little on the outside here. Now, I'm not gonna add any more product. I am gonna take a little of this nimble and I am going to go underneath my, lash, my lower lash line. I like to take whatever color I'm using in the crease, a little bit underneath the eye, and that will just complete your look. Okay, I have my mirror over here. All right, so there you go. Now what I'm gonna do, just gonna take my ring finger and I'm gonna take this gorgeous color ANSI and I'm going to put it on the eye. I'm just tapping and I'm going on the actual eyeball. I'm not going higher than the crease and I'm not going all the way out to the V. All right, look at that, how easy. Now, if you wanna make this a nighttime look, Take, take a brush, okay? So you want like a flat brush like this and wet it either with rose water, run it underneath the sink, wet it and it will make that color pop, okay? Don't swipe, you're just gonna tap it on when you do it and it'll make it more of a, a dramatic eye. And then you could also um, darken up the outer V a little bit to make it more of a nighttime look, all right? Now what I'm gonna do with this color, Optimistic, this is an amazing color and I'm gonna show you a couple ways to use this color. I'm gonna actually use it right underneath my brow to highlight this brow bone. All right, so you see how it's just gonna highlight there. And you can also use it to highlight the inner corner of your eye. All right, so that's another way to use this color. Now. How gorgeous are these colors, all right? So you can totally do this, a daytime look, a nighttime look. You can go back and, sorry, I'm, there's a mirror over here. You're gonna go back and blend it. You do just wanna make sure you are completely blended. And there you go. All I did for this eye is I put on, where's my eyeliner? I can't find it right now, but all I did was use brown eyeliner in the color proper. Our eyeliners are wonderful. They do not smudge. They do not um, budge. They are waterproof. Oh, here it is. Okay. So all I did was align the inner part of my waterline. Just like so. And then I applied the, um, eh, the Moodstruck Epic lash primer and the mood struck epic 4d lashes and look at that okay easy to get long beautiful lashes and there you have it that's the look i did 
and these are the colors okay so anybody could do this super natural look looks great um, for beginners and if you want to do bring it into a daytime or nighttime look it's very easy bye guys